Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about rockets in space and find out if they require a force to keep them moving through space. So does a rocket require a force to move through space? And the answer is no. Once an object is moving, once it is in motion, then it will continue to do so. And this goes back to Newton's first law of motion, which states, at least in part, that an object at rest will remain at rest. So if something's just sitting there, it's not going to suddenly start moving unless some force acts upon it. But it also states that an object that is in motion remains in straight line motion at a constant speed until acted upon by an outside force. So if you have a spacecraft and you accelerate it up to a certain speed, then it will continue to move at that speed until some force acts upon it. Now this is comparable to uh, an air hockey table. So if you play air hockey, that puck will move and it will go straight across and to the other side and it really will not slow down significantly. Now, not quite a perfect example because there is a small amount of friction still. So it's not perfect, but in general, the puck will keep going. That's what happens out in space to a spacecraft. Once it is moving, it will continue moving. So that spacecraft, if it's heading to out toward, say, Jupiter, it will keep moving there. And it does not require constant thrust to chain to keep its course, force, course going. Now, that's different than what we're used to here on Earth. If you're driving in a car and you take your foot off the accelerator, what happens? Well, you slow down. Well, you slow down for a couple of reasons. One, you have air resistance as you're pushing through Earth's atmosphere. So there's a force there opposing your motion. And you have a force of friction between the ground and the tires. And that will slow you down as well. So that is why you actually slow down. Nothing to do with that it's natural to slow down. If those two forces did not exist, you would keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed. So let's go ahead and look at a rocket ship here and see that what do we need? When do we need a force? We do require a force to launch the craft. Why? We have to get it out of Earth's gravity well, and we have to push up against Earth's atmospheric resistance. So that is required. Forces are required if you want to accelerate, speed up the craft, or decelerate, or slow down the craft. So if you want to change the speed or the direction of the craft, then you require a force. Then you require fuel and energy. However, no force is needed once the craft has reached its full speed. So a spacecraft traveling out there through interstellar space, once it's going, if it's traveling at you know, a tenth of the speed of light, then it will keep doing that. It will travel at a tenth of the speed of light. So why do you see in science fiction that you need a certain amount of fuel to get someplace? Well, the only other thing that might come up is that if you actually want to stop at that place, you do need to slow down. And you need just as much energy to slow down as you did to speed up. And that is what could be important there. You might be able to get to a place, but you might just fly right by it because you need some force, some kind of rocket to decelerate you and slow you down to reach your eventual destination. Now, this kind of thing has actually been used quite often in space travel. And here we see uh, showing the Voyager spacecraft here. And this is Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Now they would travel out and would continue in a specific pattern until they reach another planet. And that's when they would actually change. So once it gets going, it's traveling out in a straight line at a constant speed. Here it travels out and will continue. And that's what these two craft are doing right now. They don't have any significant source of fuel on them. They are just traveling out there and will continue to move in a straight line at the speed at which they are moving right now forever. So you really, for a rocket out in space, you don't need any additional force to keep it moving. You need the force to speed it up and get it up to that speed. That's when you need fuel. And you need the fuel to slow it down if you want to arrive at orbit at, say, another planet and you want need to do that. Or if you need to change the course. But otherwise, fuel is not needed to keep a rocket moving through space. 
So let's go ahead and summarize a little of what we went over here. And what we've talked about is that once the spacecraft is moving, it will continue to do so unless you have an outside force acting upon it. This comes, uh, this is a consequence of Newton's first law of motion. So a force is required. You would need fuel if you want to change your speed, speed up or slow down. If you want to change the direction in which you're going, there you need fuel. But just to keep moving in that same direction, you need no fuel and you will just keep moving in that same direction at that same speed forever. So that concludes this week's misconception in astronomy on a rocket needing uh, energy fuel to travel through space. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.